guys, my name is Lucy and welcome to my channel. Today I'm joined by my lovely mum for the first video of my 21st birthday week. And today we are going to be going through my memory box. Do you want to help me lift it? It's massive. Look Dad. at this! to lift it down from the storage. Before we get into this video, if you're new here, please do hit the subscribe button. Point to it. It's here. Point the other way. Yeah. <laughs> you're very good at this. And don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you like it. And without further ado, let's get into the video. Before we get into something that's in the box, we're going to talk about Scott Teddy. Because he's in all the videos. Yes, he's in the background of all my videos and he's never been properly introduced. So I got this Teddy when I was born. Just to think the first time Scott came to see you. Yeah, and my big cousin Scott bought him for me. I don't care if people think it's babyish that I have my teddy at 21, but I've still got mine and I'm 150. <laughs> He's so cute. Let's go. There's a lot of stuff in here, so I don't know if we'll talk about everything or we might be here until my 30th birthday, but we'll talk about the really important things, okay. which is kind of everything to mum. What do you want to do first? Ballet shoes. Very appropriate for you, Lucy. Are they my first ones? I think your first ones were smaller, but I don't know where they'd gone, and, but they may be. So these are possibly my first no, pair of ballet shoes. Well because you were four when you started ballet. This is so the size of my feet when I was four. I have no idea. I wish I'd kept all of my ballet shoes from the life. Point shoes were the things that really annoyed me that I don't know what's happened to your first point shoes. Yeah, I don't know where they are. Should we do another pair of shoes? Do you want to talk about these? Because you have a special attachment to these. Lucy wore those <laughs> for breakfast, lunch, dinner. I never wanted to wear them to parties and I have to say <laughs> that they were not new, they were third hand. We had family friends called the Walkers who lived in Edinburgh and they had James and Sarah and you saw Sarah in these Wellingtons that she had inherited from her brother and you used to always go, Pop Pat, Pop Pat and you just loved them. They were very kind to always giving us hand-me-down bags, never too proud to take a hand-me-down no, bag. No, never. Love it. And you wore these even when your toes were too squashed and I said, you can't wear them anymore and you asked me to cut the top. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna do this next because I actually remember this day. So this is a t-shirt of me and one of my best best friends, Ellie, and we are on my trampoline with every piece of plastic jewellery that I owned on. It was a photo shoot for your for the invitations. And look how much taller than you Ellie is. Yeah. You? Ellie was so so tall. She hasn't grown since that day, I don't know. No, and now I'm actually taller than her. And yeah, this was my uncle Cameron who is super super special to and us. That was actually just before he got sick. He actually had started to be ill then and he dragged himself out of bed and came and took these photographs. Now we've got report cards. We're not going to go through them because that's a little bit boring, but mum has kept every single report card I ever got. All good. Yep, actually, all very good. School bag! And look at this. Oh gosh, I forgot we still got this. What is it? Your St. Columbus purse. Because if you took money, you had to put it in this purse and you had to wear it across your body. That's and so cute. And look, all the little labels of your name that I saw. Oh, everything. yeah. Mum sewed these labels onto every single item of every my sock. school uniform. Yeah. And this was the school bag we had to use. It literally looks like a flipping briefcase. You should actually insert the photograph yeah. of you with that. I'll do it here. You loved it. Yeah, I did. I just loved school. Now we've got my brownie bag, which has my brownie sash and stuff in there. So I probably won't do that. Okay, we'll do it. She was a super keen brownie, but that wouldn't surprise you. She was super keen at everything. All these badges. Look, I got sporty badges. This is a, the funniest one. Have you what? been watching Thisbee's Healthy Eating? No, I'm not very good I think good you lied. No, I, I actually think I bribed you to eat healthily <laughs> um, for that. And I was also a sixer, which is the top that you can be in brownies. My recorder. Did anyone else learn to play the recorder in school? Are you ready? I bet I can still play hot cross buns. Oh, no. Oh yeah, I quit violin because I was so horrendous at it. It bribed me to quit. <laughs> Encouraging parents that we are, we said, listen, we can't live with this noise. We'll buy you a treat if you stop playing violin. <laughs> Why does everyone learn recorder? It's like really pointless. Because they're cheap and it introduces music to the masses. Yeah, and it's just painful for parents. <laughs> this is a gorgeous picture that I drew. I was so artistic. I don't know why I've given us all such long legs because we're not the tallest no. of folk, are we? And Dad well, wrote our hands. hands. Paintbrushes. We did a lot of decorating. Don't know when I drew this. It doesn't say, but so <laughs> talented. Probably thirteen. Oh, here's some more artwork. Beautiful. This is a picture of me with my sunflower, which I grew. Do you remember we grew? Yep. There was a competition to see who could get it the highest. Who won? Uh, you. Yes. This is 
a timer that's falling apart for brushing your teeth, was it? And so you just brush it to sit in there. And then it had the little timer to make sure that you brush them for long enough. You used to lie. You used to get that half weave when I wasn't looking, twist it around. Because I get bored. What is this? This is Eva's. We climbed them in row in Scotland. Oh my god. So we started in shorts and t shirt, and as we got up and up, we till layer because there was still snow, snow on the top. And I kid you not, Lucy moaned every <laughs> step of the way. Now, oh, this is a. A lovely folder of pictures. Oh, do I have to show yes. this? <laughs> this is so embarrassing. Okay, so this is of a lovely photo of me when I am 10. I'm not looking too fresh. Half my hair's straight, half of it's curled. I've got awful makeup and I'm very chubby. So we're gonna move on from that. These are the shoes that Lucy wore at our christening. We went to the christening in the morning and then we had a party in the garden afterwards for your birthday, so it was really nice. Then I have countless tea towels with my handprints and drawings. You, did anyone else do these in school or was this just my school? Should we do this? Yeah. Auntie Ailey if Auntie time. Ailey is watching, I'm telling you this is a tear. You might want to look away. Jerker. You might want to look away. This is a t-shirt which was made for when you were running the half marathon. And it basically says team mascot for Uncle Cameron and if you guys have watched my videos with my dad you will see how alike they look. So this is my dad's brother who unfortunately passed away of a brain tumour and it's the same Uncle Cameron that took the photos for me and Ellie on the other t-shirt. And were we raising money for yeah. um, cancer research for the Beats in, in Glasgow and lots of friends and family and actually did the race as well. We yeah. raised a lot of money. It was really good. It was good fun but it was very sad. He got you into singing and dancing. He was yeah. a real <laughs> person and, and had you from a, an early age. Singing um, Donald Where's Your Trousers, the Crenic Canal. The Crenic Canal. All the good old Scottish songs. Um, what do you want to do next? This was the Jamira House school polo shirt. Yes. Yeah, this so first school when she went to Dubai. And this was Jamira, which was white yeah. and grey. And I just kept it because I like it. And I, I have like a it. lot of like Jamira team spirit. Yeah. My school in Dubai, my first school was very into like house and house competitions and stuff. This. What is that? Is that something you really this? You really see that colour. Do you want me to? Uh -huh. Are these matching? Yeah, of course. Mum had next? everything matching. What's next? But really pretty. So you wore it and then Abby Law wore it. This dress. <laughs> this was a trial. Mum made this, guys. How impressive. But I, I made it for a reason. You were being bridesmaid at Auntie's wedding, Auntie Heather and Uncle Alice's wedding. And I said to my Auntie, Auntie, my Auntie Heather, you're Auntie your, Heather. Your sister. Said, Don't be silly, I'll make a dress. They're far too expensive. And then I suddenly thought, how do I make a dress? That's so, so good, I think. The dress on the day was ivory and it had a gold sash with a big bow at the back. Yeah. So that's that was my trial run. And there's a picture of you playing piano. Anne, Auntie Jan's piano. That was yeah. when you first got right into the piano. Right. What is it? <laughs> pants. Why have you got pants? Because it's got Santa reindeers on. Yes, it's got Dancer, Comet, Cupid, Vixen, Rudy. Why does it not say Rudolph? We've lost some. What is... Oh. So this was my favourite Teletubby. Can't believe she still works. <laughs> this was your first sort of tartany thing and you wore it with little grey tights. You were super chubby, I remember. <laughs> it was so cosy. And of course a matching cardigan because she can't be cold. Scotland's very cold, guys. Let's do this. <laughs> this is basically shorts and a t-shirt that Dad got me. He went to Carolina golfing with Uncle Glenn and the boys and he brought you this back. And at the time he brought you back, it drowned you. And the shorts were down at your knees and the sleeves <laughs> were practically long. You must have been two. And I wore it all the time. Yeah, it stretched with her. We started wearing it too. And I think I eventually put it in the box when you were about six. What is that? That's your first Christmas bib. <laughs> this is really bad. This what? is your first Christmas dress. I remember paying a lot of money for it, but it was really quite horrid. And you needed navy blue because you suit navy blue. I needed a bit of tartan and it had to have a bit of velvet and satin because it was Christmas. And still. then this is my bib that I would have worn on that day as well. Yes, indeed. Next we have these. They're basically They're bumblebees. Dad just to sing Blushing. to you and throw these and he would splash, splash, uh -huh. I'm having a bit. And he would throw that and that was exactly what happened. I kept this because this is what you wore the first time you went to see Papa. Stuart's dad sadly was in very ill by the time Lucy was born and we took her to see him in hospital and this is what she wore and the only picture we have of him yeah. holding you is actually when you wore this. I used to play with this squishy book in the bath as well. What's the point in this? It doesn't even have any words. The oh squeak. it squeaks! Give this to the dog, she no. love it. This is your millennium because you were born in June 99. You wore this on the millennium day. So my camera decided to stop filming, but we're back. These are my first ever comb 
and hairbrush. Those well, were actually in your bedroom before you were born. Of course they uh, were. Because I had an animal freeze and I had nice uh, bright colours and so I got those to go with your room. And they've still got hair on them, which is kind of disgusting. <laughs> what do you want to do next? What is that? That is a hat. So these would go in the sleeves of your jacket. Get your mittens <laughs> Or you get them so they built that so that you would lose them and you would run around and they'd be dangling. I did that with every pair of gloves. Wait, you did this? It didn't come like this. Of course I did it. What kind of mother do you think I am? I did all of these kind of things. That was quite constructive. But it's all stained. Because this, it's 21 years old. This is what Lucy wore when she came out of hospital. Why do babies always wear hats when they come out of hospital? I don't know, because it was June and it was scorching. And actually, there's also a picture of you sitting in the chair. Dad and I brought you in and we just sat you in the front lounge and we just sat down in the chair and looked at you and we thought, right, okay, we've got our What home. do we do? What do we do now? <laughs> well, these were your first learning to walk shoes. <laughs> these are so ugly. Okay, this and then one more. First book. I think Gran bought you that, along with Winnie all the, the little poo. poo animals that you've got. I was just singing Winnie the Pooh to Rosie and Jim theme, I just realised. <laughs> And the last thing is the famous horseman hat, Hackamack. Look at that beauty! So this was also James and Sarah Walker's. I mean, it's lasted the test of time. It looks pretty new. But then again, it's plastic, so it'll probably still be here in a hundred years' time. You were kind of like, up here, you wouldn't take it off. <laughs> That's everything we're going to do. For now, we there's plenty more. If you want to see my mom back on my channel, then please give this video a big thumbs up. To let us know, thank you for doing this video thank with you. me. Thank you. It's been quite nostalgic. I just wanted to spend my time going through everything now. We'll probably sit for another hour yeah. looking at the stuff. And if you enjoyed this video, please do subscribe to my channel for more videos. And we'll see you again very, very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.